Hi everybody, this is the Math 31 Optimization Review. Uh, this is question 8. Uh, this is, your, is, a, is a classic uh, example of a, of a question where you inscribe one shape inside the other. Okay, so an isosceles triangle has a base of 20 centimeters. Okay, so we'll just base of 20, doesn't really matter, just kind of have a sketch here. Okay, the altitude is going to be 40, so here's our 20 centimeter base. Okay, this over here is going to be 40. And then what we're asking for here is what is the maximum, sorry, find the dimensions of the largest rectangle that can be inscribed, okay, that sits along the base here. Now, this is what it's trying to describe here, okay? So, what we want to do is we want to come up with the, the dimensions of this rectangle. So, I, let's call this the height of it uh, y, let's call the base here x. So what we're going to do here is we're 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 looking for the the largest rectangle so we're going to take x and y area uh, equal to x times y and we're going to take the derivative of this expression right here but right now there's a little bit too much uh, too many variables here we don't want to have both those variables we're going to try to get rid of one of them but the nice thing is is that there is there is a some nice geometry in this diagram here Notice that this triangle right here, okay, because of the fact that this is this shape is inscribed in this nice isosceles triangle, where I know the two sides are the same, that triangle is going to be similar to the larger triangle. Okay? So the essentially for the large triangle, the altitude over the base, okay, that ratio right there for this small triangle is all is going to be true as well. Now the altitude for this small triangle is going to end up being 40 minus y. Okay, so the height of the rectangle is going to cut that off. So it's not 40 anymore. It's 40 minus y. And then the base, quite simply, is just going to be x. Well, we know that 40 over 20 is just 2. And so 2x is equal to 40 minus y. Okay, and so what we might do here is, uh, is solve for y. That might be the easiest thing to do. So bring the y over here. This will become minus 2x plus 40. So here's an expression for y in terms of x, which allows me to go into this expression that I want to take the derivative of. Okay, and I can make that substitution. Okay, so y is equal to negative 2x plus 40. Now I can multiply this out, and what I get here, well, actually what I get here, uh, a, a couple of things to comment on here. First of all, notice I've got an expression now that's just in terms of x, the, the base of the rectangle. Uh, but I also know that this is a parabola that opens down, and I know that I'm going to have, it's going to have one maximum, okay, and that's the point that I'm looking for. So now I'll take the derivative of the area with respect to x. So essentially here, as I change x, make x smaller or make x larger here, we're going to see how the area changes. And that's going to end up being negative 4x plus 40. We will set the derivative equal to 0 and take over the, the 40, divide, and so x is equal to 10. This is the only spot that's popping out, and which makes perfect sense because I know that a parabola is only going to have the one, the one maximum or minimum. In this case, it's just a maximum. So this tells us that that rectangle is going to have a base of 10, 10 centimeters, and if that's true, okay, if you just come over here, if it's true that x is 10, negative 2 times 10 will be negative 20 plus 40 is going to be positive 20. And so these are the dimensions of the rectangle.